What's up, everyone? I bet that you missed me for so long. What? That was not the case? Well, it doesn't matter. What matters is this. We're back in the business once again. This is our second season. Total Pokemon Russia. Now, you may be wondering where we are now. Look around. We are already in Russia. This is the easternmost city of Russia, Vladivostok, and it will be our starting point. Behind me is a portal to Poké Earth, from which we recently came. Thanks to combined efforts of Dusk Noir and Giratina, we managed to open the portal to connect with this world. And through this portal, our contestants will come through. So, let's introduce them. We'll start with contestants from previous season, Total Pokémon Adventure Island. About half of them will be present in this season. Come through! I'll be the first. Oh, Vaporeon, I never expected you would appear here first. Don't forget about me! I want to be here too! And Pachirizu. Wait, is that all? There's just two of you? Yeah, after the first season ended, I never saw Yemoga again. I got myself bored to the point that Vaporeon convinced me to join the next season again. We're short on time, so just go through. Next up are Dorosha and Kufai Gryus. Whoa, are we in Russia already? This is so scary! <laughs> but of course, when I get myself too excited, that's when it becomes really scary! Alright, who's next? Have you forgotten about me, Digger Speed? Ah, Espo, what do you want? I came here to fulfill my revenge on you. Uh, by revenge, what do you mean? Oh, pay her no mind, Digger Speed. This time, she is solely focused on winning the game itself. She won't do any more stupid things like killing you. I will make sure that she will play nicely with everyone else. So you brought her again, Fanpo. Not sure it was the nicest idea. I need a rival escort, so she was the solid choice. Much better than the rat that is coming behind me. Hey, I heard that! Oh, there she is. Let's go already, SP. I don't want to be annoyed. Even you, Raticat? What did you tell on this show? I thought that you hated it. I did! Your show was terrible! The only reason I came here is because I was bored! Maybe the only reason you wanted to come was to see me, right? Who are you? What do you want? What? You don't recognize me, Raticat? I got myself a brand new voice. I don't know you! I'm just seeing you for the first time! Maybe this can refresh your memory? Not this annoying voice again! See, that was... <coughs> See, that was the main reason why I had to change it. Everyone said that my voice was annoying, even Melaetta. So I had to do something with myself and change my tone for the better. How do you like my voice now? That sounds more like a normal voice, Loudred. However, I actually like it your old voice better. Now get going. Geronimo! Hey, Pidgeotta, you're back too. Yeah, I'm back! And I'm not alone! Come in! So this is what we call Russia. Oh, hero! Glad to see that you finally evolved. You had your reasons, right? All I did was a sequel of catching up with Pidgeotta. Listen, if we get into separate teams, I won't go easy on you. Just try not to kill your teammates this time. Archie is there too, you know! We're finally in Russia! Yay! So this is a country! Marshall Senpai, I still think that Chevron is much better. I mean, it's a home of anime and many other good things. How is your mood, Marshall? I'm perfectly fine. When I came back home after the first season, I was completely shocked at what I saw. My parents have evolved as well. Until the time that they realized that I was suffering because of them, so it was a nice surprise to see them evolve. Now we are the family of Marshalls. So does that mean there is nothing holding you back? Of course not. With my trusted comrade Rupe on my side, we can do everything! And I saw other good comrades here as well! Let's move already, senpai! Next up is... Wow, what a large party! It's nice to see all four of you together again! I feel the same way, Diggersky! I'm so excited to be on the second season! Don't drop your girl down, Muizel! Vaporeon is here too, you know? Yeah, I'll be careful this time! I need to watch my back! Hey, Mayo, how's your gender problem? Have you resolved things out? Well, the thing is, I'm still a boy as of now, but I'm fine with it. I always had to depend on others, but now I'll try to play on my own. Never forget that we'll be always there to support you. 
Looks like their bond got even stronger. Hey, Digus Beetle. Long time no see, am I right? Scrafty, you're the person that I least expected to see. Yeah, I'm back. I was going to take all this content, but he was nowhere to be found. I was really frustrated, so I convinced Hitmo and Darmington to come with me. I only came here because Hitmo asked me. I don't want to be bothered with you. Hitmo, let's move already. We can fly a team without him. No, I think that us three should be together. Just promise that you won't fight to each other. I'll think about it. I'll just go ahead. Uh, hey, wait! <sighs> Boss, I'll see you later! She, she got him on the string. Looks like that's all of them for the third season. Now, Scrafty, can you move, please? Make way for our newcomers. Why? I want to see them as well. You told you to move out of the way, so do as he said. Who are you to order me around? What? You? It's been a while, Scrafty. Oh yeah, that's right. You're Scrafty now. You! I've been searching for you all this time, so the reason you disappeared. I have watched everything that happened in the first season. Your game was so pathetic. Even the Heat War performed much better than you. Let's do this right now, you and me, one on one. I'm not that stupid, you know. And I actually don't have much interest in you. The ones in your gang interest me much more than you. I'm off. Hey, don't you dare to ignore me! <sighs> I want to beat him right now, but he is content after all. I need to control my anger. Looks like we'll still have the past to share. Oh well, let's move to our next guest. Hello there, I'm Pikachu, the aspiring star of the show. Well, I knew you're the cute one, but calling yourself a star? I know, it's my first debut on a reality show ever. Win or lose, I'm sure that my popularity will rise either way. Hey sis, don't forget about me! Oh, who is that? Oh, he's nobody, Diggersby. Ignore him. He call it your sis. Is he a little brother? Yes, I am. She's my sister. I never wanted him to come with me. Why? Because he might steal the attention of all of my fans. I hate it when Pichu makes others ignore me. Is that Russia? Let's go exploring. Hey, wait, Pichu, don't make me go after you. Ugh, he is nothing but trouble for me. Let's see who is coming next. Greetings to you. What a surprise! Apparently fell doctor. What brings you here? Well, we came here for one single reason. We want to explore a new country. And Russia seems to be the right choice. So you are tourists, right? This is reality show. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce my friends. Come in, ladies. Lapras and Latias? Is that your company of friends? Yes, we came here together. Don't you remember me, DSP? I was the one who brought Weasel and his company to your island. I wanted to invite my brother as well, but he refused. He said that he dislikes reality shows, especially from ones like you. We all know that men are terrible. They only care about themselves. Let's go, ladies. We're done here. And another one. Greetings to you, Charmander. Who are you talking to? I am Almighty Charizard! Uh, what did you say just now? Remember this, you only call me Charizard, and that's that. Dude, what's your problem? Listen, just don't try to dig any closer. You don't want to see him angry. Uh, now we got a mega Adron, and what's wrong with your voice? Are you a robot? No, nope, it's just my metal sound. Make no mistake, I am more about living Pokemon like everyone else. Enough talking, Agron. Let's go. Impatient as ever. I don't know about Agron, but that little guy has personality issues. Wow! Look at this city! It's amazing! What a bunch of new faces! We have the fairy and... Who are you two? Oh, are you talking about us? Do you see I miss twins? My name is Giraffe, and this here is my sister, Farid. Good to know you, Digger's V. We enjoyed watching your first season. I kinda get it, but who is the third guy? First time seeing Pokemon like that. My name is Poplio! Together with Giraffe, Clefairy and me, we form a circus trio. Shouldn't be you acquainted? Doesn't matter! We came from the same circus! Oh, that's right, Digger's V. Before we go, uh, can I show you one of my favorite tricks, please? Alright, but do it fast. 
I am Cliff Ferry, better known as Problem Solver. Whenever there is a problem, I can always solve it with my favorite move, Neutral Worm. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> An ice attack? It works, just because you need to chill out sometimes. <laughs> <sighs> Why the problem solver? I wanted to get myself angry, but they chilled me out. Next contestant is Tepic. Nice to meet you. By the way, where is that delicious smell is coming from? Shut your mouth, Zikasby! I came here to settle things with you! It was really terrible to see how you eat a roasted teppy in the cooking episode of the first season! Mmm, I can't hold myself. I really like your smell. And the moment that I came here, the soldier started to follow me. She creased me out. It feels like she wants to eat me any moment now. Wait a second, teppy. That yummy smell. Is it coming from you? What? Get away from me! I'm not your food! Why does everyone think that I'm a food source? Come back, please! I really like you! Mmm! <laughs> He'll be lost for real if he's not careful. Hey, Jane! We have arrived! You're Sneasel, one of the new contestants, right? But I heard nothing about someone named Jane. Where is she? Jane is my best friend. She's standing right here near you. And she says hello, too. But I don't see anyone nearby. Well, that's because Jane is invisible to everyone but me. She said so to me. You may not see or hear her, but I definitely feel her presence. Bonjour, Escarin. I came from Paris. Oh, so you're so far, right? So, Mopla, call me by my French name, Kufarao. You're not bad if I call you by your French name, too. No problem. Jane said I should make new friends, too, and place to meet you. Let us come together so that I can properly introduce Jane to you. Merde! I caught myself some kind of strange flea. Huh. I'm not a flea! Did I just hurt something? My name is Shogun! You may not notice me because I'm so small, but I signed up for Total Pokemon Rush as well! You taught me, you first. Oh! And here I thought I could find myself a good home! Just gusting. Hey, wait! Uh, take us me! Can you let me in, please? Not a chance! Go find someone else and hope that we won't squash you. What a pest. So, who will be coming next? Oh, hello, who are you? My name is Rowlet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is that all? Oh well, uh, shut out time anyway. Here's Kubo. What? He's not even going to talk? What's up with him? Hello there. Oh, it's Zorua. What do you want? Nothing. I only suggest people who are watching this show should watch me very closely. I'm a, a lot of things, you know. Wow, for some reason I believe that she is not bluffing. Who knows what she is capable of? Oh, it's Bidoof. You're king of this show, right? The show? What show? The show is named Total Pokemon Russia. Oh, so that's how it's called. I keep forgetting things. I even forgot your name. What's your name? The name is Digasby. Digasby at all. Remember it well. Digasby at all? Okay, I'll try to remember it. But you know, my head can be so messed up sometimes. And... A slowpoke? Hello. Yeah, nothing to talk about. Move on. Next up, I'm a choke and Ursa Inc. Looks like two power players just came here in the game. Привет, Дегасби! Как дела, чувак? Вау! Мачок, you can actually speak Russian? Что ты сказал? Я тебя не понял! <coughs> Excuse us, Дегасби. I should let you know that unlike me, Мачок is terribly bad at English. He prefers to speak in Russian, so we usually speak to each other in Russian. Мачок, давай пойдем уже вперед. Нечего тут стоять. Да понял, я уже Миша. Кто-нибудь из них умеет хотя бы говорить по-русски? Я умею. Если что будет непонятно, обращайтесь ко мне. О, смотри, Миша, он точно из наших. Серьезно? И я бы знаю, что хотя бы ведущий нас уже понимает. Пошли уже. Let's see who else is coming here. Shelby and Durant. Hey, is that serious? Is he more really here in this show? Yes, he is. What of it? He's a big threat, just like Vaporian. 
this is shoulder. All you have to do is to convince them to eliminate any big cracks early, so that new players like us could stand a chance. Bleh. You seriously believe that everyone would follow you like that? The reality is different, you know? Oh, stop clumping on me, shoulder. Bleh. Then find something me good to climb on. You know my habit of biting various things, aren't you? <laughs> She's so troublesome. I don't know why she even came here with me. Alright, looks like that's all of them. No, wait, we're still missing one person. Oh, that's right, he might not come here today. Oh well, even if he doesn't come here, we we'll still have 44 contestants to deal with. Not counting that baby can just have, of course. And now that we have seen all of them, it's time to introduce my current staff that will be traveling with me. Of course we have Saul. He can do many things to support me as a co-host, but we just call him the chef, because this is the job that he does the best. I'm flat, right? And look about my current salary. Don't worry about that, Saul. We have a lot of resources this time. After the first season became a smash hit, we can tackle even bigger projects. My next assistant is Dusk Noir. He is responsible for throwing eliminated contestants out, as usual. And... Our next staff member is special. In the first season, she was an active contestant, but this time she'll be traveling with us as one of our assistants. Come in, Fred! Thank you for your offer, Dickensby. Well, I had to give you an alternate offer because you were the first one to reject the other proposition. Yes, I did, Dickensby. I would rather eliminate myself out of competitions instead of doing things if I don't propose it to me earlier. I'm usually a nice girl, you know? And I want to see Russia as well. Don't say anything else, Ferret. We're keeping that as a big surprise slash grand twist away from other contestants. Now please gather up all those contestants in designated place. We're about to start our first challenge soon. Got it. And... Following the tradition from the previous season, the legendary Pokémon will be making their guest appearances in this season as well. Well, Latias is a contestant already, so it's not a big surprise. Now, before we start a new challenge, let me show you the new opening for the new season. The season known as Total Pokémon Russia. Wait, I'm finally here. Oh, Chespin, so you finally came. In the end, I heard that Bird be used to join the game, so I had my doubts. But after hearing that she became one of your staff members, I have changed my mind. I'm joining this season for sure. That's good to hear, Chespin. Who would know that a human like you would stay with us longer than usual? Hurry up to the meeting place. Everyone should be there already. Yes, I'm coming. He's a soul of the party, isn't he? And with him, our cast is finally complete. Cue the opening!
What's up everyone? I welcome you all to my second season, which is known as Total Pokemon Russia. In this season, you'll be performing many interesting challenges while exploring various regions of Russia as well. And this city is just the starting point. You'll be traveling through Russia on this train through what is known as Trans-Siberian Railway, or just simply Transit, the longest railway line in the world. Naturally, this means one thing. Lots of new adventures will be awaiting you out there. However, before you board the high train, you need some tickets, right? And this is where your first challenge comes in. Before you separate you in teams, we have to complete your first challenge. Your goal is to find one of those train tickets scattered around the city and use it to board the train. As a ticket, Salk won't allow you to board the train. You have a time limit because our train will be departed very soon. You absolutely have to find one of those tickets and get back to station in time before our train departs. Uh, before you go out, do you have any questions regarding this challenge? Uh, I actually have one. Does the train ticket look like this? What? Yes, this exactly is the ticket that you need to board the train. Wait, is that for real? Marshton, that's your first ticket. Where did you find it? I actually found it on the, on the way here, on the ground. Wow, you really have the devil's luck, Marshton. To be the first one to find it before the explanation, you are really something. Welcome aboard! Everyone, take a closer look. This is how the train ticket should look like. And before you go, I should warn you. There are not enough tickets for all of you, which means that at least one of you will be left without ticket, and as such, be eliminated from the game. So what are you waiting for? Get those train tickets now! Что мы здесь делаем, Миша? Нам нужно приобрести билет, чтобы попасть на поезд. В кассе наверняка есть билеты в продаже. Оформите билет мне, пожалуйста. 5000 рублей? Вот деньги. Спасибо. Мне тоже один билет на поезд. И быстро. 10 тысяч рублей? Какого хрена? Почему Миша платит 5, а я должен 10? Я что-то не вникаю. Чё? Потому что так сказал Заяц? Ерунда какая-то. Слышь, это со мной не прокатит. Я согласен на 5000 и не больше. Is this the ticket? Yeah, you need this to board the train. You may go in. Thank you. <sighs> My choke was taking him for too long. I got it! I got it. Hey, Theo! I got here first! No, I got here first. I think you both just came here at the same time. What do you want? Oh, she has a ticket too. Where did you get it so fast? Well, when I can turn my head to 180 degrees at any angle, I can spot things that are not easily seen. Just like this ticket. We will to be nice to each other. I wasn't going to be wrong. I just wanted to state my point. Well, it actually didn't matter who came here first. That's exactly it. All that matters is that all of us have their own tickets to ride. Should we sit quietly and wait for others? Not in my head. Get off my head. Excuse me, I usually can't concentrate my mind while I'm sitting on anyone else. Don't you be patient, please? Это просто воровство какое-то. Зачем мы удваиваем стоимость билета? Я не понимаю. One ticket for me, please. Hold on a second. I want to get in ticket. Hey, get in line. You have something against me? I'm a part fighting type. You're just normal types. Don't mess with me and you'll get out unharmed. Got it? Do you expect me to tolerate that? Endure this, Lautrec! We can do anything to him right now! We can buy our tickets after him! Looks like the rat understands the situation. One ticket for me, right now! What? Now I have to pay 15,000? This is a total ripoff! If you don't want to pay that much, then better step in! Oh, I see how you bastards work here. I hate doing this, but... If I buy this ticket for 15,000, then we have to buy the next one for even bigger price! What? They will only keep increasing it! Screw it off! I won't be paying it! Right, Ikat! You have to endure it! Getting off that train is important for both of us! <sighs> and I'm done! Have fun wasting your money! Okay, more turn now! How much is this ticket now? 20,000? You're not serious! 
Hey, if that's not the big boss himself, look at me, I have myself a ticket. Where is yours? You paid 15,000 to get it, I'm not impressed. What? Think you can do better? I'll let you know that you have to buy the next ticket for an even bigger price. This is what sets me apart from you. Unlike you, I can get myself a ticket from the booth without paying any money. What do you mean? Follow me, I'll show you a perfect example. I can't believe that I had to pay 30,000 just to get myself a ticket. Hold on a second. Who are you? What do you want from me? Give me your ticket now. Uh, I hate you all! So you chose to steal tickets from others, right? Steal? Don't get me wrong. Rat can give me her own ticket. That's how strong my influence is. That rat only gave it to you because I was right near you. Sure you were. Are you going to board that train now or wait until she gets back with some backup? <sighs> I hate this. Why I can't surpass you even now? My life is meaningless now. Without my mother, there is no purpose in living. Goodbye, cruel world. Mom, I'm coming to you. Hey, there's a ticket right there. And someone else is already trying to get it. What should I do? No. There is no time to hesitate, there is only one solution. Marisa is taking way too long. I should have gone with him too. Hey, look, I found a dance hall and earned my ticket with my spectacular dancing. That's good for us. Marisa? <sighs> you won't believe it. This guy just tried to jump off the bridge in order to get this ticket. So you saved at him? Of course I did. Who do you think I am? What happened? Mom, is that you? No, it's just us. We helped you to get the ticket and save it your life. You don't understand. I don't need to live anymore. Save your money when you get on the train. Move on. Weasel, what are you doing? Isn't that obvious? He's helping people around. There is no way he would leave someone in peril. You know that. But he is allowing him to get the ticket. You can find more tickets by yourself. Don't you worry about us. Hey guys, look, isn't that... Yes, that's a killer bumblebee. The one that was in the first season, she looks really mean. And look closely, she goes for a ticket at once. This is quite problematic. So we have a problem. Yes, we have a problem. But your assistance is not needed. I'm the problem solver. Don't ever forget that. My special move, Metronome, has a chance to solve any problem in the world. Yeah, with no more than 5% chance of success. Here it up, Tarek! You know that cafe can't be stopped! Here I go! Metronome! Ta -da -ta -da. Aha! What just happened? Killer Bubble Tree just fell in love with the fairy! Really, the fairy? It actually worked! See, I told you guys! I solved the problem! Now we can take our stickers for ourselves! Good for us! Okay, let me tell you to take those stickers for now! Hey, what's that noise? Hey, Duran, can you give me your ticket for a while? No way, you should know that I am not nice. If I give you a ticket, you will turn into a threat, and I will be unable to get a second one. Bleh. Then help me to find another ticket. Not gonna happen. Do it on your own. I'm returning back to station. Bleh. What should I do? Everyone else must already have gotten their tickets. <laughs> Bleh. You have a ticket, right? Where did you find it? Oh, I just found it along the way. Bleh, you're not hell. Can you give me your ticket? I'm sure that you'll find another by yourself. But that is my ticket. Bleh, you know what? You really start to piss me off. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it 
Oh, he's wearing some more nails in my tail. Bleh, I actually fused with him in the slow -bro. This is not nice. Please get off me. Bleh, no way. Oh, I got an idea. We're basically counted as one Pokemon, right? So here's the deal. Bleh, you let me sneak on the train with your ticket and we return. I'll get off you. But that... Oh, listen, please. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, I'll do as you ask, oh, oh, just stop biting me. Bleh, get a move on, slow walk, why you are so slow? Oh, oh, I'm moving as fast as I can, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Hmm, that's one interesting piece of art. Now time to grab that ticket. Hey! Oh, hello, you Pampoo from the first season, right? Don't you hello me! Give me your ticket right now! Or else what? What can you do against me? Come to think about it, you're the one who was leaving the island with Scrafty. Don't you dare to speak his name! I'm out of here! <sighs> Joining the second season was the right decision. After observing them for too long, I can't wait to get myself in the action. Hello there! Uh, is that a ticket for the train? What do I need you to do in order to get it? Oh, I guess you're out of a contestant, right? I'm too busy right now. I'm going to make the biggest burger in the world. All they need to do is to eat the world thing and the ticket is yours. An eating challenge. Just my luck. Hey, I smell something really delicious. Could it be? Hey, don't look at me! Mmm, pork meat! I'm so hungry! Time to eat! Wait, don't go any closer! It's me! Not right now! I wanna eat that pig! That pig is me! Stop! Mmm, who's voice that was? Oh, never mind! <laughs> Help me! How about this for your taste? Mmm? Oh, 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 oh! My dog! Oh, what a terrible taste! I don't want to eat that thing! The pig will never be yours. He is mine. Only mine. Uh, did you just save me? Uh, you're still not hearty enough, Debbie. There is a lot of food in that kitchen. Eat it up. You're even worse than Ricky Ricky. You only save me just so you can take a taste of me later. Hey, hearty, where are you going? I'll be taking that ticket. Once I get on that train, I should be safe from you. Don't follow me. A ticket? I don't have a ticket right now. Hmm, what should I do? Hey, see, James right. There is indeed a ticket in the park. Everyone could follow that by logic. Don't give all that credit for your so-called imaginary friend. Jean is real. She really exists. Then why I can't see or hear her? Because she's invisible and she only whispers to my ears. I'm home again. Mad. Is that flea again? I'm not a Vila Flea, and I contested as well, and I found myself a ticket! Good for you, now just leave us alone! But Furfro, you're missing a ticket too! Are you telling me to take her ticket by force? I'm a lady of proper etiquette, you know! What are you saying? <gasps> Jane, you're a genius! That can definitely work! Oh, not again! What now? Jane has an idea on how to get both of you on the train with one ticket! Me and that flea? How? It's simple. All Joltik needs to do is to give her fro her ticket and hide in her fur. Excusez-moi? That's awesome plan, Sneasel. I like it. Pardon me, but I do I really need to carry her inside my fur? Say absurd. You want my ticket or not? I can find my ticket by myself. I don't need you. What's gotten into her? Oh, don't worry, Joltik. Jean is sure that Furfro can change her mind. Just follow her. Okay, I get it. But still, who is Jane? Oh, I found one. What a chilling place. Hey, Espy, you already have a ticket, right? Give it to me. No way. If you try to take it from me, yeah, yeah, I know you said that. Never mind that. But still, I need to get on that train. Hey, where's another ticket? You want something? Yes, 
I want that ticket from you. I'll take it from you by force if I need to. Yes, boo, help me out. If you haven't noticed it, I have a child with me. So what? I have a child too! You have a child? No way. You're lying. Yes, you're right. I am lying. So never mind what I say just now and leave me alone. We're leaving, SP. There's still time. Mom, are you sure I'm lying? Uh, judging from her reaction, I'm actually not sure if she was lying or not. Where is Crafty? I don't see him around. Will you stop thinking about him? We have our own game to play. Why don't you search for your own ticket already? I hope that boss will help me to get one. Don't count on it. The only thing he's thinking about right now is how to deal with Skantank. We are on our own. Well, we finally found someone. Can we ask you a favor? Uh, sure. What do you want? We're looking for the white squirrel with the blue stripe. Uh, excuse me, who are you talking about? Can't you remember it properly, Pichu? His name is Pachirisu, or Pachi for short. Yeah, we're looking for Pachi. I'm his number one fan. Have you seen him? We have a spare ticket and we want to give it to him. No, we have not seen anyone like that. You should have followed him right from the start. We had to find some tickets first. Hold on, Dami. It's my turn now. I think I can do this just like the boss. You, give me your spare ticket to me right now, please. You expect us to give you a free ticket for nothing? That's right! This ticket is meant for Pachi, not you! Really? Okay... Oh, if that's the case, can you give me the ticket so I can give it to Pachi later? Really? Oh, that's so nice of you! Here, take my ticket, make sure Pachi gets it! Pichu, what are you doing? We're done here, let's go search for Pachi! Hey, what about our ticket? Oh, you can't be that simple-minded! Are you really going to give that ticket to Pachi Yizu? What? No, of course, I'll keep that ticket by myself. Blame them for being trustworthy. You're seriously going to play a villain again, Hitmon? Well, that's the best thing I can do. Strafty taught me really well. I should give you a better example someday. <sighs> I'm getting bored. Why no one is coming after those tickets? Hey, Fred, long time no see. I was surprised when you were chosen as a co-host. Well, I won the first season after all. No matter that, there is no way anyone would allow me to win a game, so I have agreed to join the interns. You have tickets for the ride, right? Can I get one of them? Sorry, Chespin, but it's not that simple. In order to obtain a ticket, you must answer a trivial question correctly. I got it. So what is the question? The questions will be about Russia itself. Here's a question for you. How many different time zones are in Russia? Uh, well, I think... Russia currently spawns 11 different time zones. Vaporian? What is your problem? The question was meant for Chespin. But I answered the question correctly. Do I deserve a ticket? You! It's fine. You can ask me another question. I'll let Vaporian get the first one. No problem. Alright, now for the next question. What is the name of the northernmost settlement in Russia? The name of the settlement is Dixon. Vaporian! Don't get me wrong. I want to get all my friends on the train, Chespin and Pachi included. I will answer as many questions as you want until you run out. Wow! That morning, you are fully prepared for this season! Since it's Russia, then I need to know about Russia as much as possible. I will get hard on this, you know? Very well. Chespin, Vaporian, Pachi, take your tickets. I'm not in the mood to give any more questions, because I'm sure that Vaporian can answer them all. Go to your train already. I will be training other interns soon. Ah, uh, thanks for it. I really would not find any answers by myself. That's for what friends are, aren't they? Oh, there is someone with two tickets at once. Hey, Ruger, you're Marsh Tom's buddy, aren't you? Would you like to give one of your tickets to me? Uh, why should I give it to you, Banco Chan? You are the one responsible for my illumination in the first season. Well, the times have changed, so it's pointless to hold on those grudges. Oh, I can know. If you give me your ticket, I'll let you join our new alliance. New alliance? And who else would be in that alliance? Uh, of course, Mashtom would be there. I recently talked to him, and he said that I need to search for you as well. Really? Mashtom Senpai sent you in? Yeah, he did. We're going to form a water alliance together. Water alliance? That sounds so cool. I'm totally in. Here is my ticket. Who else is going to be our Makama? We'll find suitable members later. Just not someone named Vaporian. Great, let's board the train already! <sighs> I never thought he actually bought that. You say something? <sighs> Nothing, let's go! 
Here, where's our train? Go inside and take a seat. Okay, I can still do it. I hope that what I did was right. Hey, Crowley, back so soon? Here, I sniffed out three more tickets. One for me, one for you, and the other for Mario. Now all of us can board the train. Excellent, we just need to wait for Mario and Maracto's return. I don't know. She should be somewhere in the station with her ticket. We need to check on her. This is unfair! This world just not fair! Right, ticket, why you are still here? Where is your ticket? I don't have my ticket anymore! I got bought it again! Scandal and Scrafty! They took my ticket! And I could do nothing! I'm so powerless! You never fought back? I could not! Scantan gives off intense pressure! It's just like a space and that painful past all over! Maybe if you knew it to us, you might feel better, right? I don't need your pity, Laura! Leave me alone! My parents got murdered by those cats! Oh, crap! Uh, I just got it, said it! It was hell beyond hell! I could not fight against those cats! The best thing I could do is to run and hide! So I kept hiding myself in sewers and feeding on any scraps that I could find. Don't just paint your whole life black, right, cat? There are some good things in life, too. Just remember, in the past season you met us. When I was tiny and quiet, you tried your best to protect me. Wasn't that a start of our friendship? Yeah, but then we turned from bully to bully. I did not. Ferret did. You could be good friends with Ferret, but instead you chose to constantly oppose her. Listen, you're just talking about sewers, right? Try searching the local sewers. Who knows, maybe you can find your ticket there. I don't see any point in trying. You have to try. Right, ticket? I believe in you. We still have one hour left. Use that time to get yourself a ticket. And don't you dare to give up. I hate doing things like that. You can keep hating me if you want. But you should just do it. Alright, I'm going. I'm not gonna be lectured to the likes of you. Did my voice finally reach her? <laughs> Mario, what's wrong with you? <laughs> my ticket was stolen! <laughs> I can't believe that you're back being such a crybaby. Are you a boy or not? <laughs> I don't even know! Mario, how did a person that stole your ticket? How he look at life? <sighs> he was looking like a lizard! And he had a fire tip on his tail. And he was not alone. Fire on his tail. That's gotta be Charmander. Mail, get back to train station right now. I promise that I'll take your ticket away from all smugglers. But the train is going to leave soon. Listen, kid, take my ticket. I know that Buisa wants you to be on the train as well. I won't allow you to be eliminated on the first day ever again. Thanks. But what about you? I will be fine. I'll get myself a new ticket, I promise to you. I'll come back. Well, that was much easier than taking candy from a child. Thick tears always work so flawlessly. Let's <sighs> Ah, what's taking you so long? Don't all me around. I only got my ticket just now. And not me so time. Let's board the train. Ah. There would be an issue. How I would fit into that train? How should I know? That's not my problem. We have our tickets. That should be enough. Let's move. Hold on a minute. Don't you dare to leave off like that. What do you want? Don't play dumb. Even if you do, I won't believe any single word. Mail needs that ticket to board. And so I'm going to take that ticket back. You are going to take the ticket from me? Does that mean that you're challenging me? Yes. Charmander? I am challenging you to battle. My name is not Charmander. I am Charizard. Char, do I really need to do this? She challenged me herself, Agron. Usually I don't fight opponents that are weaker than me. You? Calling me weak? You regret those words. You regret challenging me. Excuse me, where is the train station? I completely forgot the location. What? A disturbance at a time like this? Agron, take that kid away. This is going to be something that he should not see. Come with me, I'll lead you back to station. Wow, are you a robot? Can you talk again? Please, I want to hear a robot speech. Not for now, let's go. <sighs> I'm warning you, I'm not just your ordinary grass type. 
Ha! I'm not your ordinary Pokemon either. I am Charizard, the Flame Destroyer. Try to survive my ultimate attack. Hey Furfro, how's it going? Have you found any tickets so far? <laughs> so terrible, I can't find any. <sighs> Still can't accept Jane's idea, right? You mean the idea where we are that I'm going to really get in? That's unacceptable. But without the ticket, you can get on the train. Can't you just accept help from others? You call that helping out? Mad! It seems that I have no choice. I will hope it's me to go in. I'm not just a flea! My name is Joltik! Yeah, right. Listen closely. You can pack in my phone in exchange for your ticket. But once you get on that train, you will get off me immediately. Gun? You get off my new home so shortly! Not sure if I can accept it. Oh, you should not worry about it, Joltik. Jane says that you two can become good friends in the future. For goodness sake, stop mentioning your chain already! Let's go back to station! Merde! Don't order me around! I won't be your home, transportation or whatever! Just help me to board that train! Where's Maracus? I'm starting to get a little worried! I'm worried too! She should have arrived here by now! Okay, we're not going to leave anywhere until she gets back! I'm going to stand here and keep waiting for her! Oh my! This is troublesome! I can't just carefully sneak in! I need to be more creative. I'm going to look for Ashton. You should be on the train already, right? Yeah, no problem. You're just friends now, right? Yeah, just friends. Hey, Buizel, I got my ticket. Finally, what took you so long? Well, I was almost being triggered, but don't you worry, I made it here. Good. Now all that we need is wait. Buizel! Uh oh, something really bad. Golly, I'm calling for help. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Got it! Hey, what is this? A hangman's noose? What just happened here? Please, stop it. I want to see my mother. The things that you said can be measured with what you are doing. You're seriously trying to hang yourself? What? He's almost about to hang himself? What's wrong with this kid? Perhaps he had to do something with his past. His past? What do you mean? You can separate me from my mother. Guys, we can talk about it later. Help me to bring him to his senses. Okay, I get it. Aqua Jet. <laughs> Boriso, what are you doing? Can't you see it clearly, Crowley? I simply knocked him out. He needs to chill down. We'll keep our watch on him until he wakes up. This is going to be a long day. <laughs> Where is Uber? He's taking way too long. Marshall, is that you? Can I enter? I don't remember your voice, but it's fine. Come in, comrade. Hi. Mail, you made it too. I'm happy for you, comrade. I'm just as happy as to see you too. So, how you are doing? It is about Gilbert, and I am still a boy. I have decided to live as a boy from now on. My mother is fine with that too. That's good for you, comrade. I have certain things with my parents too. Everything is fine, but... You are not feeling good because you still want to see me as a girl, right? What are you saying, Mayo? There is he! Oh, hi there, Mayo-kun! Uber, you did it! But... What are you doing here, Panbu? Isn't that simple, Marshall? I have invited Uber in our lands. Our lands? I don't get it. Silly you! It's always better to beat alliance with your best friends. Isn't that right, Mayo? We're going to form a new group called Water Alliance. Really? That's so cool! I want them to join you as well! But... What about Weasel? Oh, don't you worry about him. Nothing says that you can stay in both alliances at the same time. I don't get it. Why would I suddenly form an alliance with us? Panko, I am not stupid. What is the meaning of this? I just want to be made peace with you. Anything that happened in the third season is a matter of the past. But I still don't trust you! You were in relations with Scratchy at some point! I hated Scratchy! He forced me to invent against my will! Only now I realized how I miss it you so much, Marshall. Don't start that thing again! Do you not want us to give a second chance? Is it because of Meryl? You still like him? What are you saying? It's not like that! Then... Do you have another girl in mind? Uh, No! Please, give me another chance, Marshy! I promise that I won't backstab you or your allies. Look, I'll even allow you to be the alliance leader. 
How's that for a change? Yeah, she told me that you are going to be the leader of our crew, somebody. So you say that I should be the alliance leader, right? That's actually a good cool idea. But if you are allowing me to be the alliance leader, then that means that you are willing to do what the alliance leader tells you to do. That's all about our alliance, okay? Really, Marsh Tom. I hope that we will form a more friendly alliance. Don't be mean, please, Marshy. You have to respect us too. See, even Mario says that you should not be too sweet. It's not like you at all. Ugh, you're right. And we're here. Not the best room, but that's our room anyway. Yeah, except that Yimoga won't be here in this season. I completely understand you, but it should help you to focus on the game, right? Yeah, focus on the game. Thanks for supporting me, guys. I just realized how I hate being alone. Why, well, in fact, I was not alone. Ipachi. Uh, who are you? What are you doing? Ipachi, did you receive that ticket from Heatmore? I assumed to give it to you. I told you that Heatmore simply swindled us. Pachi most likely got the ticket by himself. Actually, I got it with the help of Napoleon. I should really step up my game. But why you were looking for me? Oh, we were just going to talk about that. Pachirisu, I am your biggest fan. You and Amolga were only of the best players in the first season. For me, you were the real OGP. Why don't you pairing? I know how you miss Amolga right now, but she is always there. Right in your heart. Pichu, what are you talking about? I believe that the two of you will reunite with each other once again. Really? You really believe that we can be together once more? I'm sorry, my little brother got over his head. Please excuse us, I want to start a personal talk with him. Pichu, what is wrong with you? Why did you start talking all that nonsense all of a sudden? But that was the main reason we came here, sis. To be near one of our subjects of adoration. I can't believe I forgot to take you into mine. I should have known that you would tag along with me. It's my fault for not telling you this in the first place. Tell me what? I want to start building my relationship with Pachirisu. What? Are you for real? You, uh, you're going to be Pachi's new love interest? No, no, no. This won't do. Pachi and Amolga are the one true OTP. You, uh, you can't spoil their relationship. I'm aware of that, Pichu. But part of the reason is that I wanted to build up my own popularity just being near Pachi. You're doing that for the sake of your own popularity? Not just that. If I start befriending Pachi, then that'll definitely help him to fill the void in his heart. If I could manage to do that, then my fame would rise even higher. I could then brag to everyone I was dating Pachi at some point. Everyone would then be jealous of me. That's much cooler than I thought at first. Let's go right away. Not so fast, brat. You spoiled my chances today by mentioning your true OGP. We're going to build our relations slowly and carefully. Let's talk to Pachi another day. We should just start being friends with him. Let's find a separate room first. Hmm. Don't make that face. Sit down. Don't think that I'm going to work for you ever again. I'm sure that we will, on your own will, if you know what's good for you. This is here? Oh, I'm sorry, wrong room. Let's get out, hit more. Hold on, you should stay for a while. Why should I do that? Not you, I'm talking about heat more. You can leave if you don't like it. Me? Okay, I'll stay if you want. Darmy? If you stay here, then I must stay as well. What do you want from him? I remember, they got third place in the previous season. Uh, yeah, I did. I have the potential to win it, too, if it wasn't for Napoleon. So for what reason you call it us in? You want to form a gang and be a leader? Do you think that we're going to accept you just like that? I never said that I should be leader. I never proposed that we form an alliance. But if such an alliance should be formed, then it should have a much more befitting leader. Finally, you realize that it. You're going to allow me to be as a leader, right? You're not competent enough, and I was not talking about you. The leader should not be me or you, but Heatmore. What? Me as a leader? Who else would that be? You turned your so-called boss over and got yourself all the way to third place. You're more civil fit than Scraft your me, a complete stranger. What? Heatmore is even worse leader than you. Oh, and one more thing. Earlier on, you referred to Scrafty as your boss, right? Now you no longer need to do that. From here on out, Scrafty, you will now call Heatmore as your new boss. What? Is that for real? Darn me, what do you think? I think that making you the leader is the best idea I've ever heard. I accept it. You, come with me for a second. 
What are you planning? You did not make Hitman a new leader out of the blue. What are you scheming? Oh, it's nothing. If our alliance gets harmed at some point, then Heatmore as leader will be taking all the blame. I'm well aware that if Heatmore as the leader is going to do terrible, but that's what I'm counting on. And what if he's not? Then that means they can actually meet my expectations. Unlike you, can you stay in the game longer than him this time? Believe me, I will. And you will be the one getting kicked in the butt. Keep dreaming. Huh. Oh, it's my ticket. Will you let me through? Go ahead. Wait a second! We forgot something important! What is it? Jane needs a ticket too! Without a train ticket, Jane can't get on the train! Oh, not again! Favre, your Jane is invisible, right? So no matter if she has a ticket or not, no one would care! I do care! Is someone going to sneak in without a ticket? No, Jane doesn't have any intentions like that. She wants to play fair, isn't that right, Jane? Then where is she? Listen, uh, she has some personality issues. Just pretend. Uh, why is she right now? What's wrong with you? Um, Nimbop there. Just pretend that you let her imaginary friend in. <laughs> I need to go. Furfro! Oh, I almost forgot about him. Listen, I had enough pain with you. Just take whoever you have with you and be done with it. Really? You allowed Jane to come with us? If I can see it, then I can help it. Hey, she went on the train already. Jerry did? Jane, wait for me! It actually worked? Those Pokemon. I need a vacation. Huh. Now that we're here, get away this instant. You should be happy! I have the duty to get on the train! After all, you're actually the one without the ticket! Shh! Don't say it so loud. He might hear that. Hey, Jane, where are you? Girls, I can't seem to find Jane. Socks said that she's already boarded the train, but they can't find her anywhere. Well, I don't see her either. What are you talking about, Farfro? She's sitting right near us. What? Oh, so that's where you were, Jane. I was so worried about you. I couldn't stand myself missing you. Now you're saying that she's here. Are you going insane too? Shh, we'll do that so that she won't come down. Has the train started moving yet? Jane has many interesting stories that she's willing to share with us. Are you willing to listen? Oh, spare us the agony, silly will play. Hey! Uh, never mind. Here is my ticket. But what about your child? You should travel in with you. Children below each of three should be able to board the train without the ticket, right? Huh. I'll make an exception for you just now. Go through. I got my ticket! Hmm, I smell something good. Is someone who can walk nearby? Even you! Leave me alone! Don't forget about me, sweetie. You actually found the ticket! How? I would go in any lengths to order to get you. How about we have a dinner before leaving? Why does everyone keep thinking that I'm some kind of food? Someone, save me! Here is something that barely resembles a train ticket. Can I go through already? You smell like a sewer rat. That's because I had to search your stinky sewers in order to obtain it. We are allowed with it others. I believe we are waiting for you on the train already. We got our problem solved. Here are our tickets. What happened to your friends? You don't even need to ask. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't. So just be on your way. What matters is that you finally got in! We have a rabbit. Isn't he cool? He talks like a real robot. You are annoying me too much. Go inside already. Well do. Ah, I have a problem. I can't fit inside at all. That's because you are too big for the train, Adrian. Oh, come on, the whole crew was talking. How was your battle? It was boring. How I can get on the train? That's Digger's base problem. <sighs> you should be able to hit inside the freight car. Go all the way to the rear end of the train. Not fair. Everyone gets a cabin, and I only get to fit inside the losing freight car. Just deal with it. No one asked you. Mind your business. 
Attention to all passengers! Our high train will be leaving the station in a few minutes. Make sure that you stay inside your cars. For everyone outside, time is running out fast. Don't forget to bring your tickets. Oh no, I'm going to be late. Oh, stop biting me. I'm moving as fast as I can. You're really late. The train is about to leave. Here is my ticket. But before that, help me, oh, to get leave off, oh, please, oh. I don't have time for you, just board the train. Oh, right, I need to hurry. No, the entrance is too far. Uh, I won't get there in time. I can't believe that I have to do it. Oh, thank you. Now I need to get rid of that thing. Oh, golly! It's finally happening! We're going on a new journey all together! Isn't that too exciting? Yeah! And Mario is with us too! But now that you have to take care of this guy, he's much more miserable than Mario once was. I'm sure that he feels himself better soon. Hey, Kubon, wake up! You're going to miss out a beautiful view from this window! Oh, more? Just forget about your past troubles, check this out! myself an evil twin. She is known as the Black Maractus. She tried to trick me, but I managed to outsmart her. Black Maractus? I never heard about you having a twin sister before. Attention to all contestants! I have some good news for you all. It appears that almost everyone managed to board the train safely, except for one person. Maractus failed to get her ticket and missed out the train. Therefore, she is our first tourist being eliminated. What? But Maratus is sitting right here with us! No, Brizzle! I smell an outsider here! <laughs> I was not too focused before, but she does not smell like our Maratus! Who are you? Oh, so it finally found out. But it doesn't matter now that I got myself a ticket to a ride. I don't know who are you, but what you did was awful! Maratus was one of our friends! How you are going to explain everything that you did? Oh, sorry. I did not use Felbo to you. Was she a member of your alliance? Yes, she was. You really think that we would allow you to get away with that? I sincerely apologize for everything I did. If you want me to make it up for what I did, then allow me to join your alliance. What? You're proposing us that you want to join our alliance in place of Maratus? And you think that we're going to accept you just like that? Mother. I'm getting further away from my mom. Looks like he needs some knocking down again. There, there, go back to sleep. And as for you, I promised that I would be a better ass into your team than Maractus was. After all, I have my illusion as shape-shifting skills. I could work as a spy in gathering information about the other teams. Or I can use my abilities to sabotage the opponents, if necessary. So, what will you say on that, Breezel? I am not sure about that. You're talking about spying and sabotaging like those are your usual things. But unlike you, we're going to play our hardest game. You won't be a suitable fit for our lands. That's right, we don't need you right now! Attention to all contestants! 
Let's meet all at once inside our freight car. It is the only place where I can fit all of you in. Looks like our judgment has been postponed. For now. What's up everyone? Welcome on board of the Hype Train. You did an excellent job completing your first challenge, for some of the meters were quite underhanded. Now that you're all aboard, we're going to split you in teams before wrapping things up. But first, why are you only showing yourself on the screen? Why you can come here personally? Well, right again, that's because I'm driving the train at this moment. You can drive trains? Since when? Since the moment I got my third wish from Jirachi. Was it your third wish to make the second season? Nope, I wish you to learn how to drive trains. It was one of my childhood dreams. But if you are out of wishes and then... Don't worry about that. We made the second season on our own events this time. I can assure you that the money for winning the season will be real. Who it also help to fund our efforts. Back to business. There will be three teams in this season. And the ones that got their ticket first will be the team leaders. Let's start with March Tom. You were the first one to find the ticket, so naturally, you get to be the captain. Again, your team will be called Soviet March Toms, or just Soviets for short. Yay! I got to be the team leader once again! Our second team captain will be Osaring. Your team will be called United Orsas. That's acceptable for me. And finally, our third team, Pijota. I believe you came third after Osaring, am I right? Yes, I came third! No, I came here third. I actually came third. I need to know. I saw that both of them came to the train at the same time. What's the point? We can't pick a captain that way. You know what? I'll place both of you in the same team. Your team will be called Double Headers. Both Pidgeotto and Fio will be recognized as captains of a single team. Both of us at once? That's ridiculous! And what's wrong with the team banner? Why are you are picturing us as a two-headed bird? That's the idea that I had to come with. Have you heard of a double-headed eagle? As for actual leadership, decide everything by yourselves. Now here comes the most important moment. Pick up your team members. The captains will make their turn picking team members one by one, until all three teams are fully formed. Marshall, you get the first pick. Alright, I'll pick Mayo as my first teammate. Rosary, we are next. I want my joke to be on my team. Accept that. Pidgeotto? Power it! She helped us to stop the quarrel! And we go to march up again. Proceed by yourselves. Uber! Agron. Vaporian. Wait, hero! Why you are calling it now? Because I am a health captain now. Oh, right. Then boom! Gengas Khan. Chespin! Hey, why did you roll him to your team? He's too valuable for me! Sorry, Marsh Tom, but that's exactly why I want him to be on our team rather than yours. Okay, if it comes to that, I'll pick Jurafarik. Latias. But Cherizo, just because I don't want to make an enemy out of him. Go fight Gargus. Lapras. Uh, I guess Pikachu. Clefairy. Scrafty. Hey, I only noticed this just now, but why he's gathering all the strong Pokemon here? That's not fair. I'll pick Darmanitan. I guess I'll go with Charmander. My name is Charizard, not Charmander. Remember it. Hit more. Hey, not fair. I want you to be in the same team as Darmy. Pichu. Uh, Slowbro. Slowbro? Come to think about it. Where is Shelda? Oh well, we'll just count them both. Scumbank. Doja. Uh, Espo. Just because I was asked to. Weasel. Round Red. Fur Flow. Growly. Raticat. Tepic. Cubone. Papilla. Sneasel. Zoroa. Giant. Clogag. I don't want to pick the last one. I'll go with Gidu. Is that all? No one left? Hey, you forgot about me! I told you to get off my fur! So here's the last one! Joltik! Alright, we're done! 
It looks like numbers are not quite even for each team, but if we count Shelter and Baby Kangashan, we will get 50 members for each team. Not sure if numbers are right, but they don't have to be exact. After all those twists, they are definitely going to change. Twist? What twist diggers be? Oh, I was going to mention it too. During the course of the show, there will be several twists involved. One such twist will be revealed as soon as the next team wins their challenge. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day, so get some good sleep. Soon we will arrive to the next town, where we can do our next challenge. That's all for today, folks. You are dismissed! I can't believe that I was cricket because I felt pity for that mail. I should have realized that Charmanta had nothing to do with his ticket. I dropped my girl for a while, and this is a result. Oh well, it'll save Buizel and company the pain that we are about to experience. Sorry that I did not live up to your promise, Diggersby. Now that teams have been finally formed, it's time to wrap things up. Our first eliminated contestants turned out to be Maractus, and that was a huge shock even for me. The truth is, Maractus was actually a part of one of my new twists that I won't reveal out just yet. Do you want to know what we got in store for those contestants? What will be the twist for winning tomorrow's challenge? Find that out in the next episode of Total Pokemon Russia! That's all for now, folks. Don't miss us out!